I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Crack SAT. Here are two excellent examples based on cylinders. A cylindrical container will have maximum volume for the given surface area if its height is equal to its diameter. One such cylinder with capacity of 935 milliliter is designed to hold milk. Based on this information, we have two questions. Question number one, find the radius of this cylinder. Four options are given to you. And question number two is, find the maximum distance between any two points on it. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now this type of question is very tricky and it is considered to be a hard question for SAT. Now we are working on the volume. The formula is normally given to you. Volume formula is pi r square h. So that is the formula. You know that the volume is 935 milliliters and it is a cylinder whose height is same as the diameter because we are also given here that some information that cylindrical container will have maximum volume for the given surface area if its height is equal to its diameter right now for given surface area maximum volume is very important to understand because you know the cost of material is based on surface area so it becomes uh, economical packaging perfect now i hope you understand the question i'd like you to pause the video answer and then look into my suggestions okay let's try to solve it so this is the cylinder let us assume that the radius is r in that case the diameter d will be two times r and height is equal to 2 times r right so height will be 2 times r so if i write height in terms of radius then we have simpler calculations to make right we know that volume is 935 milliliter well you should also know that 1 milliliter is equal to 1 centimeter cube right okay now 935 that means dim dimensions in centimeter is fine 935 is the volume should be equal to pi times radius we need to find let's replace height with 2r since height is same as the diameter right so we'll write this as 2 times r so that gives you 935 is equal to 2 pi r cube so from here you can find the radius so it'll be 935 divided by 2 pi right so that will give you r cube to find r we have to do cube root of this expression right so that is how you are going to get the radius so let's calculate radius now 935 divided by within brackets 2 times pi bracket close and then this is 148 Point 0.8 we'll do cube root of this so we'll do cube root so shift cube root of uh, our answer and so that gives us 5.29 right so that is 5.29 could be written as 5.3 so we get the radius of 5.3 which is option d for us perfect so we get the first answer now the second question here is find the maximum distance between any two points on on it so what could be the maximum distance well the maximum distance could be if you consider two points diagonally across right so that means if i consider these two points i should get the maximum distance right so we could use pythagorean theorem to find the maximum distance we now know what height and diameter is so what is the diameter diameter is equals to 2 times 5.3 right or 10.6 correct so this side is 10.6 the height is also 10.6 so this will be 
10.6 times square root of 2, right? A square plus B square square root. So that will give us the maximum distance. So maximum distance will be, you can do A square plus B square square root will be 10.6 square root 2, right? So we'll multiply 10.6 by square root 2. So what I'll do here is I got 5.299. I'll just multiply this by 2 and then by square root 2 to get the answer. We get this as 14.9, which is approximately 15, right? So 15 centimeters is the maximum distance. Option C is the right option. Perfect. So that is how we can actually solve this question. Now, many times in the test paper, you may not be given this particular information that for maximizing the volume for a given surface area, height and diameter should be same. So it is important to remember, right? So, so note, for optimum capacity, height equals to diameter in a cylinder. So it is the information which you should know, right? Okay. Now this question could have been changed and instead of giving you the volume, I could have given you the surface area, right? So you could do a question with surface area in mind. So if I say, well, if the surface area is, let us say, 1,000 uh, centimeters square, in that case, what is the uh, same thing, right? What could be the uh, radius and what could be the distance uh, diagonally across, right? So this question could be changed in so many different ways to work with. I hope that gives you a good knowledge about it and that should help you to perform better in your own test. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.